Hello, my beautiful Capricorn friends. Welcome to your May 1st through 15th, 2021 reading. Many blessings to you all. This is a collective reading for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. Please remember, all things Royal Mystic are found at the website, royalmystic.com. You can purchase a gift certificate. You can have this direct link to the Curiosity Shop. You also have the ability to join the membership and be part of the Mystic Vibe Tribe. You can decide what level you want. The descriptions are there if you want to be part of the daily meditations or if you want to be part of the weekly workshop. This is how uh, we have it all listed out and this is how we learn together. It's a, it's a once a week um, energy and we are now working on sacred geometry if that interests you. We just started, so you won't be too far back. It's not just barely started, so you'll be joining at the right time. And also, everything uh, that I offer, all of my services are listed on the website as well, so you can see what best suits you. So with all that being said, don't forget to hit like. And also, if you want to be part of the notifications for the live readings, whenever I'm doing, it's actually not a reading, it's the live discussion when we do the crystal uh, spotlight the monthly second Sunday energy if you want to make sure you are uh, made aware when I'm going live hit the bell that bell button will notify you when I make a post or when I'm going live and that way you won't miss out so here we go we have the two of cups and the two of cups is the energy of divine union now this can mean your higher self comes in to help take over from the ego mind from the human perspective and allows you to see things from a higher position in the vibrational energy of your soul it can also mean soul mate and soul um, match for someone if you're in business this is the energy of having like-mindedness and being on the same path and working together in a very seamless way so whatever the energy is it is about being connected to source with your higher self uh, and and possibly with other folks if you are in a relationship that is in that soulmate energy or a divine work relationship we have the four of cups here which is the offer from the universe of something amazing that you don't really recognize and sometimes it means this higher energy even if someone who is an amazing soul person in your life you may not recognize them for who they are and you may not understand uh, how to relate to it because you, you this is if you're not in a position of, of uh, seeing it for what it is please don't say no to it um, just let yourself have a moment to see where it goes vet it first don't refuse it without checking it out you want to make sure um, this is not something you know this is called a gift in a brown paper wrapper right so it is the holy grail coming in from the hand of the universe so it's a divine opportunity here we go thank you angels archangels divine pure white light divine spirit spirit guides gods and goddesses thank you so much for being present here to allow all capricorn sun moon and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path we thank you so much divine for these blessings and beautiful messages and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended we thank you for this divine guidance as always and we welcome this blessed energy thank you so much divine you're always welcome and very appreciated so we have the lover's energy here as your top card and um, my mind has gone blank but it may pop in in a second I, I forgot what the second cut card was <laughs> as I was I, I closed my eyes and I was in prayer and, and that happens sometimes it, it wipes my mind so the lovers is the energy of the of the Gemini major arcana it's a very strong energy of being in a place of acceptance of that energy it's an upgrade it's a spiritual ascension this is the energy of moving forward we have the queen of wands uh, which is the energy of being empowered and as it is the feminine energy it means something being uh, manifest this is a new energy a new new powerful i call it the work mode energy this is that position of being empowered and feeling like you're really going to make some changes or some ground is you know cover some ground here Two of Swords is telling you don't try to make sense of it. Um, you don't have to make it be logical. 
You just got to stay in that higher mind, which is what the cards were talking about earlier. We have this page of cups, which is the energy of having kind of a secret, allowing yourself to uh, hold something close to your vest. You don't want to tell everyone about it. We've got the Ten of Pentacles here, which is abundance and financial. It can be a lump sum. It can be financial release of uh, a debt um, and being gaining financial abundance coming in. We've got the Four of Rods which is solid, good communication, and strong foundation. And th that's what the other one knew was coming. There's the Six of Swords. That was the second cut card. And that's the energy of moving forward, uh, releasing fear, following your divine guidance, and allowing yourself to make right decisions. This means moving in the right direction. So, Seven of Swords is letting go for, of what no longer serves you. Someone may be changing jobs, which may be where the little page is you're not wanting to say anything this is coming through the battle victorious being the front runner being the the one that's chosen and a little bit of exhaustion here this is the four of swords it's been showing up in a lot of readings uh, it's talking about allowing yourself to recover sometimes we have something that kicks us right in the in the buttocks really hard and uh, instead of stopping and taking a little bit of time to heal from it we'll jump right into life to try to overpower it and ignore it and and you know just push through the pain sometimes you gotta let yourself heal though and uh, it will come back around if you haven't let it properly heal that wound will continue to to bother you and be worrisome so allow yourself to energetically heal from whatever this is is telling you pay attention to yourself and give yourself good self-care we have the Ace of Swords, which is the energy of cutting through the sort of the fog, uh, releasing yourself from ties that have held you back or things that have encumbered your progress. This Ace of Swords is a gift from Divine. All Aces are gifts. This is the gift of clarity, focus, and direction. You can finally see past the fog and you can make decisions on what to do next. You want to focus in on where you're headed. So. Getting yourself in that energy is always a blessing. Okay, now we have this Gemini Lover's Card. This stands for a higher energy, an evolution, so to speak, in, in that ascension for bringing your physical body, which would be the masculine side, and the spirit, which is the feminine side, into divine alignment. So if it's about a relationship, that's fabulous. You're, you're in sync. Everything is, is a solid spiritual bond. If this is for yourself alone, this means you're in a place of spiritual growth. And sometimes that's not a comfortable thing. So uh, sometimes we feel a little awkward or disconcerted about it because we don't, it's not something we feel all the time. Don't worry about it. It, it may feel a little foreboding it's this is normal we are, when we make that energy shift it, it kind of throws us off kilter but then we get back into our rhythm and everything is fine and this is the queen of rods which is meaning you're back in your power being very much in a place of new fertility being very much in ready for action starting new beginnings the two of swords is telling you stay in your spiritual mind don't don't try to make it be logical it's not going to be it doesn't have to be Stay in a place of holding whatever you're protecting. Keep your heart protected. Keep your energy protected. Whatever you're holding back from others, it's okay. This is what we do when we're, when we're being smart about not giving out all of our information. Um, this is just holding it close to your vest so that others can't... Um, you, you're not telegraphing your next move is all I'm saying. We have the Ten of Pentacles, which is abundance coming in. It's either a lump sum or a, a new beginning that brings in this this load of money it can be a settlement it can be an inheritance it can be um, where you've divided uh, properties and and you're getting your portion it could be a family thing we've got the four of wands which means solid communication and a good foundation whether it's in work or in your family life your family unit and the Six of Swords is now ready to move in the right direction. You feel like, okay, I can, I can start my future now. I, I can, I'm cut free. I've got this, my higher self guiding me and, and showing me the way. Even though I don't know the way, it's okay. I can, I can let the universe help me 
to go in the right direction. I've already headed myself this way. I've got all the experience and information I need to help guide me. As you're moving in the right direction, this is releasing what no, no, no longer serves you. And sometimes this means giving two weeks notice. So if you're getting a new job or you've decided to uh, change what you do, this can also mean moving if you've, if you've changed your location. Um, it doesn't mean that you're quitting. You could be shifting jobs. You could be changing from one job to another at the same place. Whatever it is, you have been working at this for a while. The Six of Wands is moving in the right direction, being head and shoulders above the rest, and it means coming back from battle victorious, being in the place of where the banners are flying and, and you, you may be exhausted from it all, so you do need to take time to recover from all of this busy energy. Allow yourself to bring yourself back to your highest frequency. That's what that Four of, of uh, Swords is all about, is reminding you your body is not as strong or doesn't last like your soul does. Soul is infinite. Body is temporary. So allow yourself to recover. Six of Pentacles. This pays off better than you expected. The Six of Pentacles indicates that it's some kind of windfall that doesn't have to be paid back. Or you receive more than you anticipated you would be compensated for. So, thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses thank you so much for being present here to allow all capricorn sun moon and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path we thank you so much divine for these blessings and beautiful messages and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended we thank you for this divine guidance as always and we welcome this blessed energy thank you so much divine you're always welcome and very appreciated got the resurrection energy of the judgment card that is the archangel gabriel the beautiful energy of the empress the five of swords which means you're battle weary but it's telling you to hang in there king of pentacles which is your capricorn king energy the hanged man staying in the spirit mind temperance everything being worked out serendipitously and the high priestess following that higher instinct exactly what that six of swords is talking about scorpio major arcana death to the old way big shift in a new direction five of cups looking back at the past a little too long don't don't try to reminisce in the negativity look toward the positive you have a new future the hermit being in a place of following divine guidance and letting yourself move forward on the path using divine light and here's the queen of pentacles so this is the energy of the feminine and you've got the masculine here so the feminine queen is about new abundance coming in and being in a place of security and manifestation the feminine energy is about growth and new things and the masculine energy is about something actionable now something that has has come to uh, existence that is now you can do something with it it's literally showing up in your hands. So here we go. We have the energy of your higher energy coming in, a soul ascension, a realization, a big pivotal moment. And you have the judgment card, which means a restoration or resurrection. Now, whether that's resurrecting your spiritual energy or a resurrection in a relationship. Then we have the queen of wands, which is the energy of power divine guidance and being in your energy of making things happen it also can mean passion this is fire sign energy so it can be a leo sagittarius or uh, aries energy then we have the empress which is the aries feminine this is the energy of being very much in a place of manifestation and new abundance coming in the empress is the goddess energy the birthing of all things in life so whatever was is or will be comes through this empress energy we have the two of swords telling you don't look at the details just let yourself focus on divine guidance and go with what your inner guidance is telling you we have the five of swords which is saying you might feel a little bit battle weary or uh, gun shy basically don't give up five minutes before your miracle because this is telling you to stand your ground and just keep focusing on the target. Don't flinch. Don't run. Don't, don't give up anything that you've gained. 
you've got this page here who's kind of holding things and you know kind of covering it up and keeping it close to his chest and then this king of pentacles is the energy of making a solid commitment now this can be a commitment being made to you with finances or you making a commitment to do something different this is the energy though of the king of capricorn this is that earth energy so capricorn virgo and taurus energy now we have and the masculine means it is in the now there's the feminine over here which is in the making and this is in the now we have the ten of pentacles which is abundance coming in don't put yourself in a place of trying to figure out why you got it or how it all worked out if you're supposed to know you'll be told if not receive the abundance the hanged man this is saying get in a place of enlightenment that seventh crown chakra is talking about this a lot in this reading my capricorn friends you guys are earth energy so it's hard for you to get um, out of needing to know all the facts and being very pragmatic this is one of those times where you're just going to have to take it as it comes and and let the blessing happen without needing to know how it did it because sometimes there's no explanation we have the four of wands which is solid stable family harmony and then we have temperance which is telling you synchronicity and divine timing are at work here this is the archangel Uriel and Uriel is the energy of divine guidance and divine light that is on top of her head that's what that is it's not a faded spot on the card this is absolutely she's doing alchemy to make everything happen synchronistically and this is again Sagittarius energy that's a Sagittarius major arcana six of swords moving away from the negative and toward the positive using divine guidance and divine uh, light this is for showing you the way launching in the right direction leaving behind the negativity going toward the positive now we have that high priestess energy which is again telling you get into your higher vibration and follow stay in the flow of the universe allow yourself to be guided don't try to control everything you don't have to micromanage the universe So I'm just hearing a conversation happening. Um, my guides were talking back and forth, and one of them said, "But I need to know why." And and the other guy, the other older voice, said, "Because I said so." <laughs> so you know, when you were a child and you wanted to ask why, and your parents were like, "It's just, it's just not necessary for me to explain this to you. It's because I said so," and that's just where you have to be with it. Okay, so. Seven of Swords is the energy of walking away from, from the need to know. Just dropping that, leaving it alone, moving forward. This is death to the old way. This is, I call this the cosmic garbage man. This is Scorpio Major Arcana. It's coming in to clear all that negative stuff out and give you a fresh, clean start. That beautiful little flower there is saying a new beginning, a clean slate, and uh, clearing up all the toxic energy and being able to move forward, leaving it behind victory coming through the battle victorious you are the front runner you are the the number one you've been through the whole thing and getting your uh, ticker tape parade in your honor basically they think you are the the bomb diggity so as you come through the battle victorious don't sit and lament over the negative stuff that happened in the in the battle if you do that you just trap yourself in that ptsd energy look forward allow yourself to look at the future all of this rancid wine that has been spilled is no longer even you, you can't even touch it anymore the earth has soaked it in it no longer exists so don't spend your energy your valuable energy don't let yourself wear yourself down okay move forward take on the new thing and move forward and allow yourself to recover this is the energy of the hermit saying Bring in that divine light. That is a Merkaba. That is a sacred geometry pattern. And this is telling you, use the Akashic Record, the energy of the light of knowledge of spirit, to guide you forward. And don't, don't let yourself get caught up in the trap of the coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Okay? Many blessings, my Capricorn friends. Love, light, and abundance to you all. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.